Hello again. Um, last time we worked on arms, um, hoping you've re recovered from that. I thought today we might uh, have a look at legs, uh, working on large muscle groups. Um, going to do 12, uh, 12 reps of each, uh, working through a series of exercises. Hopefully, uh, working your hip extensors, uh, working your hamstrings, working your calf muscles, working your quads, and working all three of the glutes. Uh, there might also be, as ever, a little bit of ab works thrown in. So uh, let's see how we get on. All right. So first of all, we're going to set off standing. I'm just just checking that I'm in shot here. Um, hopefully I am. And we're going to start. First of all, with um, straight leg raises. So thinking about getting a nice stable position. I'll just turn a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And a little bit of balance in here as well. So we're just going to start by first of all, bringing one leg forward, doesn't matter which it is, because we're going to do all the work on one leg before we go on the other leg. And we're just going to raise that leg and lower it. So it's floating up, nice pointed toe, just tapping down. What we want is to get some length in this leg. Doesn't have to go high, but we want to try and keep it straight and really feel that we're pulling out from the hip on this. Um, rest of the body shouldn't be moving, uh, torso shouldn't be rocking. All the movement should be isolated in this leg. Now, I said we were doing sets of 12. I'm reckoning we've probably done about 12 here. So we're going to leave that leg at the top and we're just going to do 12 little pulses. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. The same leg. Now we're going to take that behind and we're just going to tap down and raise. Tap down and raise. So you should feel this in your glutes, your glutes max. Uh, it doesn't have to lift a lot to get the work done, to get the uh, glutes activated. All right, we've done about six here and I'm losing my balance. Promise I wasn't on the wine last night. Nine, ten, eleven. And we'll keep that up again and just little pulses at the top. Just again, twelve. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Same leg now, we're going to take that out to the side and we're just going to tap and down, tap and down. Again, knee faces the front. As well as working this leg, we'll be working, working on this leg as well, the supporting leg. Seven, I think, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and just little pulses. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and bring that down. We'll do the same on the other leg now. Starting with raises to the front. Two, three. You'll probably already be feeling it in this leg because it's worked as a supporting leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And 12 pulses. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we'll take that leg to the back now. Let's see if I can do this without the wobble. It doesn't matter if we wobble. What it means is we're working our core muscles and our stabiliser muscles. 1, 2, 3, Four, really feel those glutes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and little pulses. Four, six, I'm going again. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And up to the side. So tap it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. You might get a dog in shot very shortly. Barn is on the move. Oh no, it's just turned around and sat back down again. Can't be bothered with this, is what he's thinking. And little pulses. Eleven and staying down again on this one and 
pulses at the bottom. Two, three, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and up we come. Legs should be on fire by now, but not over with the standing exercises yet. One last one, and it's going to be a wide leg squat. So we're going to have some fair distance between the feet, knees are pointing out, and toes are pointing out. And we're just going to go down into like a plie squat here. Not a full squat where we're bending forward. Trying to keep the chest and the shoulders nice and stacked all over the hips. Five, six, trying to push those knees out as we go down. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and staying down on the twelfth. Twelve little pulses. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. Just add on a little bit to that now. Where we're going down. A little bit of ab work here. Side bend, side bend, and up, down. Side bend, side bend, and up, down, side bend, side bend, and up, down, side bend, side bend, and up. I think we'll do eight of these, we've done four, side bend, and up, side bend. Side bend and up, a couple more. Always forget when I'm recording these to open the back door and get a floor there through. So I'm probably going to end up bright red at the end of this. And now we're just going to go back down, a little bit of isometric here, and we're just going to hold, thinking about nice upright body. Legs, knees, press it out. Hold for a couple more seconds. And slowly bring ourselves up. And bring our feet in. Now I'm going to go down onto our knees. Thank goodness I hear you all saying. And we're going to get into a, a Superman position. And we're going to take one arm forward, opposite leg stretch behind, and we're going to just do 12 ordinary supermans, raising and lowering. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really trying to get some length into that body. Nine, ten, really sucking in that navel, eleven, and hold it at the top, little pulses, six done already, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and hand and leg comes down, still working on the same leg, we're going to load that leg before we go on to the other side, we're going to do Take that leg out and taking it out to the side and back. I've just realised I said we're working on the same leg. I'm not, am I? Oh well, we will work both legs. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And bring that leg in. Still the same leg. Promise I won't swap legs this time. We're just going to bring a bent leg up, bent knee, and place it back down. Up and down. So we're not swinging. 
digging out into it. We're just placing it up and bringing it back down. And thinking about our posture, trying not to sink into the shoulders while we're doing this. A nice long spine. Couple more, I reckon. And we're going to leave it up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Bring that leg down and keeping it bent. We're now going to raise it behind, uh, flexing the foot, and we're going to bring it down. The bend remains, and we're just raising and lowering. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Guess what? Little pulsing at the top. the other leg. I'm going to turn around. Um, I don't remember which leg I worked on, but uh, there you go. So, arm goes out, leg goes up, and we're raising and lowering to start with full. Three, four, same leg. I think I need to swap legs. So from here we're just taking the same leg out and taking it out to the side and back. What we're trying to do here is not really swing it out and uh, move the hips. It's controlled as always. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Leaving it out. No, we're not. We're bringing that back in and then just bringing it down for a moment before the same leg goes back up to the side. Now with a bent knee, and we're just doing the what I call the male dog having a pee. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and leave it up there. Twelve little ones. Ooh, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Same leg now. Keeping the bend in the knee up to the back. Now we're dropping it. Flex foot and raising it. Three, four, five, six. You should really be feeling this in your glutes now. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Keeping it up there for twelve little ones. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And give yourselves a quick swan. So pushing back, head forward. Really stretch it out. 
forehead to mat. See if you can get it there. And we'll just take a couple of breaths here before we go into our bridge position. And slowly bringing ourselves back up now. There are bridges, right? So we're going to set off with some bridges. Uh, we're going to do a few sets. We're going to set off with our feet wide. So we're going to take the feet wider than the mat. So the feet can be sort of parallel with the outside edges of the mat. And so with the bridge, uh, we're going to have our hands down by the side, palms facing down. And we're going to peel ourselves off the mat, vertebrae by vertebrae. And we start that with a pelvic tilt, where we're flattening our back into the mat, and then we're driving up through the heels of the legs, and we're coming up as far as we can. And then we're taking that back down. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Stay up on the twelfth one and little pulses here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. So bringing that bridge back down and what I want you to do with your feet now is slight adjustment heels we're just going to come up onto the balls of the feet and we're going to bring our heels in so the feet are kind of facing out Charlie Chaplin um, feet uh, that'll take your knees slightly wider apart we're just going to do another set in this position so this is opening up the hips a little bit more two three Remember to drive through those heels, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, staying up on twelve, and little pulses, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight nine ten eleven twelve dropping the bridge and now just pivoting on the heels this time to align the toes so we've got sort of straight feet so we're in a sort of what we call our original our standard bridge position here so from here we're now going to come onto the balls of our feet if we can really go for the calf muscles this and we're going to go up and down um, and what we're trying to do here is keep the heels raised off the mat three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and you know what's coming next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And lower that bridge. Drop those heels. We're not done with bridges yet. We're now going to raise one bent leg. So we're at a sort of 90 degree angle. And we're doing a three legged bridge. If this is too much, by all means, just do another set of uh, bridges with uh, both feet down. So we're pressing up and lowering. So we're keeping the elevated leg bent. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and staying up there, twelve little pulses, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Lowering that back gently into the mat, taking that foot down, bending up the other leg, and we're good to go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll be pleased to know this is the last set of bridge exercises, but not the last exercises. Ten, I reckon, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and lower that back into the mat. Just bring both knees up and just gently massage that lower back into the mat. Just rocking and just bringing the knees up wide. Just massaging wide and together. As we press out. And just change that now. So pressing away and wide coming back. Pressing wide. Just one more for the back. And knees together and slowly bring yourselves up because we're now going to go onto our sides. So making ourselves so just checking we're in a straight line here and you can either be lying on a cushion you can have your head on your um, arm or you can sit this up letting your head uh, with your um, arm up and the elbow right bottom leg comes in it's bent uh, nice and high again 90 degree bend here and all we're doing with the uh, top leg here just making sure that the hips are stacked so the hips not flexing forward or backwards and we're going to have a flex foot and we're just raising and lowering to start with doesn't have to be high really trying to get some length now into that leg and hip four five six seven eight nine ten ideally the toes should be pointing slightly lower than the heel. And then leave that at the top. We're just going to do 12 little pulses. Yeah, if anything, the um, heels pointing to the ceiling and the toes are pointing towards the mat. That way the knee stays at the front. We're not flexing out. And I think we've done that now. Uh, with the hand for support. So what we're going to try and do here is isolate the next movement just to the legs. You find, and uh, it's a fault with me, that you, you tend to throw your whole body into it. So try to um, just have a stationary um, leg, um, sorry, stationary body, all the movement in this leg. So we're just taking it forward and pulsing and then taking it behind. I'm going to have to adjust because I'm kicking the settee. So just bear with me a moment. Um, Barney's on the move as well, so uh, here we go, joining in Barney. Right, I don't think that's a good spot, Barney, you're going to get to. Darling, go on, let's just set in. There we go, good boy. Okay, so we're here. Sorry about that little interruption. Two, three, four, five. Six, flexing on the forward and pointing as we take the leg back. Ten, eleven, twelve. And bring that back and we're now just going to do some little circles forward. Four, five, six, seven, keep it close to the ground on your mat. 10, 11, 12, and reverse. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12. And top leg now, bring it to meet the other leg. And we're going to have bent, both legs are bent. I'm going to flex the top, and all I'm going to do is open it up and join it. So it's like a variation of a clam here, where we're not just opening the knee, we're raising the whole leg. But what we're trying to do, like we do with the clam, is keep the hips stacked. So this top hip doesn't collapse in and doesn't swing back. All right, we must have done about nine there. Ten. 11, 12, okay, right. And now, going over onto the other side, do the same with the other. So pick your position and line your body up. Then the bottom leg helps with balance this, uh, bends and comes forward, top leg flex up. And we're just taking that leg up and down with the um, toes pointing towards the mat, the heel pointing towards the air. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, little pulses, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then from here, we're going to swing it forward and back. So we'll put a little pulse as we swing it forward and back. One, try to isolate that movement just to the leg. And trying to keep the leg at equal distance away from the uh, mat and the floor whilst we sweep it round from back to front. Alright, and that's eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. body, just little circles forward, three, four, no bigger than a plate, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and now bring that knee in, level with the other knee and we're just going to open up like a clam but with no hinge we're not keeping the feet together four five six seven eight